Hi there and welcome to another Call cool for Maths A level video from Hegarty Maths. In this video we're talking about vectors and in particular position vectors. As always for more help with your Maths GCC or A level do check out the YouTube, Twitter or, or Google+. So this is our fourth video on vectors and it's for the LXL course but is applicable to most modules. And in this particular video we're going to talk about position vectors and the fact that um, a to B uh, can be written as uh, vector B minus vector A. Okay, so we're going to talk about a minor thing here, uh, a small item here, but unbelievably important in your understanding. So let's try and get this understanding by looking at a picture. Now, imagine, uh, let's try and imagine I said to you, uh, if I start at the origin, and I go to point A, uh, firstly let me just say one thing, that point A's, B, C and D are points in space, are points in space. Okay, they are not vectors, they are coordinates or points in space. Okay, now say if I said to you, I'm going to call the vector that gets me from the origin, which I'm going to say is here, 2a, little a, and I'm going to call the vector that gets me from the origin to the position of b, little b, and I'm going to call the vector that gets me from the origin to c, little c, and I'm going to call the vector that gets me from the origin to d, little d. Okay? Okay, so um, in this case, little a, little b, little c, and little d are called position vectors, are position vectors. And by that, what I mean is they are the vector that gets you from the origin to the point. So they're the vector from origin to the point okay so for example little a is the vector from the origin to big A and little b is the vector from the origin to big B and little c is the vector from the origin to big C and little d is the vector from the origin to big D and these are position vectors. They tell you how to get from the starting point, the origin, to there. Now, there are other things potentially going on here. How would you get from, let's draw it in that way, how would you go from A to C? Okay, I'm going to rub this out just for now. Hopefully you've copied this down. Pause if you haven't and copy down. How would you get from A to C directly? Now, if you wanted to go from A to C, you could use position vectors. Do you agree you would go from A to O and you would go from O to C? Right? And A to O is going in the wrong direction, it's going in the opposite direction, so this would be negative A and plus C which we'd write as C subtract A. Okay? Similarly, let's try and ask ourselves how would you go from A to B? How would you go from A to B? Well, you would go from A to O plus from O to B directly, which again is negative A plus this time positive B. So you'd have B subtract A. And how would you get from A to D? I think you're spotting the pattern here. If you went from A to D, you'd go negative A plus D, which is D subtract A. Okay, so I'm just going to try and spot a pattern here, something that hopefully you can spot in a second. If 
I'm trying to get from uh, in two points in space, say now if I wanted to go from let's say C to D, let's see if I can use that rule. If I want to go from C to D, it will be the position vector of D subtract the position vector of C. Okay, if you're spotting the pattern here, how it's going, because this big C matches that little C, this big B matches that little B, this big D matches that little D. So similarly, this big D will match that little D. And this A matches that A, 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 so C would match this C. Or if you look at it on the picture, if you want to go from C to D, you go to O, negative C, plus D. And similarly, I can ask you anyone, let's just go from B to C. If I want to go from B to C, I go negative B plus C, which would be C subtract B. So hopefully you can spot the pattern without the picture. If in general I ask you to go from X to Y, and little x was the position vector of X, and little y was the position vector of Y, in order to do that, the vector would be little y subtract little x. Okay, And they are position vectors and using them to get between points. So just to make that absolutely clear in one last definition, in general, that's a normal vector. Uh, here are position vectors. This is the point, let's say, um, x. This is the point y. And the vector z might get you between x and y. That's a normal vector. But a position vector is something very special. One of the ends is the origin. The other end might be y. And this vector here... Uh, which we usually call little y, is the position vector. It's the vector to get to the point y from the origin. Okay, so the formal definition is a position vector for point A is the vector that describes how to get from the origin O to that point A. It is the vector OA. And formalizing what I said in the previous slide, imagine we had this scenario here. Um, here's the origin. A and B are points. They're not vectors. That's a point in space. That's a point in space. This is the position vector of B. And this is the position vector of A. I.e. how to get from the origin to the point A. And how would I do various things? How would I get from A to B? Well, from what I talked about in the previous slide, I'd go negative A plus B, which is B subtract A. How would I go from B to A, let's say? Well, I would go negative B plus A, which is A subtract B. Okay, so formalizing that uh, here, AB is going to be B minus A, where A and B are the position vectors of A and B respectively. And a B to A is going to be A minus B, where A and B are the position vectors respectively. You need to be able to know this and you need to understand clearly the difference between a point, a position vector, and how to get from two points using their position vectors. You must know this and be clear what way around they go. Let's do an example. Here's example one. You may pause the video and have a go now. See if you can have a go. I'm going to go through in five seconds. So in the diagram, you've got points A and B. These are points in space, these here. So don't confuse them, they're not vectors. And they have position vectors, little a and little b. So they're the vectors referred to the origin. That's the origin here, another point in space. The point P, another point, not a vector, divides A, B in the ratio 1 to 2. So therefore, this must be one part and this is two parts. Find the position vector of P. So when it says find that, what it's asking you to find is how do you get from the origin to P? How do you find OP? Okay, so we want to go from the origin to P. We want to go from the origin to P. So one way of doing it would be, let's say, uh, one way of doing it would be to go from the origin to A, along here, and then we would go plus A to P. Okay, that's one way of doing it. Now let's do a bit of side working. How would you get from A to P? Well, firstly, to get from A to B, 
the whole distance, if I want to go the whole distance, it is clear using position vectors that this is going to be B subtract A. Okay? So therefore, how would I go from A to P? Well, it's one part out of three parts along the way. So it's one third of B subtract A. Okay, so that must be AP. And OA is simply the vector A. So this is going to be little a plus one third B subtract A. Let's expand this bracket here. It's going to be A plus one third B subtract one third A. So I've got finally at 1a minus a third a is 2 thirds a plus 1 third b. And sometimes we may even factorise it, take out the third, be 2a plus b. Sometimes it's written in that form. And we're done. So we're finished with this particular video now. Um, the key thing is do you understand a point in space, a position vector? and how to use position vectors to get between two other points in space. Read chapter 5, page 58, and complete exercise 5e, page 58, questions 1 and 2. Thank you for watching.